first I'd like to welcome everyone here and on behalf of the Sally Shorten gang it's great to get all of the Shortens together in one place particularly this what I would say is a unique and joyous occasion you know from 1916 to 2016 100 years particularly the connection with the Shorten E. Kelly family it's, it's a tremendous occasion Firstly, I'd like to call on Uncle Tony, the boss. Tony. I hope, actually, from tonight onwards, that every one of the Shorts here, or even the extended family from the Shorts, will learn a bit more about my mother. Um, super lady. She might have been about five foot in height. But to me and my brothers, that she was nine foot tall. We know from the 1911 census that uh, in Dolphin's Barn, one of the people in the house on the particular night of the census was Margaret Kelly. She was 12 years of age and she was down as a scholar, which obviously means a schoolgirl. When you consider that her background, the family background, was from Wexford, growing up, she was bound to have heard from her Wexford people all about 1798, because that was something for them to be proud of. But we shouldn't forget as well that the Wexford people rose up in 1916 as well. It wasn't just Dublin and Galway and Dunabate and Skerries and the Battle of Ashburn and all that. But in Enniscorthy, they proclaimed a republic there too, and they held on to some of the buildings in that town for several days. Walking all the days. When you look at the theme of this slideshow that we have here, uh, and I mean this sincerely, that the theme here, which is related to the 1916, the 100 years commemoration, I think if you look at it and think of the connection that we have with the the 1916 Rising, it's actually through the women of Ireland. Here, here, because really, behind, behind every good man and behind every good country is a good woman. And you can see that in, in my grandmother, and she was a tough cookie, Austin and I remember playing in the snow one time, I think I still have the mark on my ass. But, but they always looked after the family and they always looked after the, the loved ones. So the theme there and the connection between Margaret, the grandmother, and the women of Ireland is not lost.